guys, Mariana Pollock here, mother of two and founder of The Roots Report at wisepoorconfessions.com. So today I'm going to be talking about my going into the store protocol. As you guys know, we are currently having a health pandemic. There is a very dangerous virus out there and it's taking down a lot of people. So what I'm doing is I'm just getting a little elevated before I talk to you guys with this elevation essential oil blend. But it's really important that I address this. Guys, I'm so addicted to oils. I'm sorry, I can't stop smelling them. Okay, I'll stop. <laughs> okay, so. Anyway, I'm super excited today because I am going to be talking about my personal going to the store protocol. Okay, when my husband goes to the store, I also support him with these items. He doesn't always follow the exact rules, but he does take all the doTERRA supplements that I give him for that. Um, even if he doesn't like wear the beanie or the glasses, but I do ask him to. Um, the thing is, my husband wears a mask if he goes into the store. Like right now, we're getting like everything delivered, pretty much everything. And we are good. We have everything we need. Um, but like if he does have to go to the store because sometimes, you know, something will run out and we're just like, oh, we can't live without it, even though we can. Um, he'll go to the store like for my parents sometimes um, and get them something because um, they're over 60 and we're trying to keep them protected as well. Um, but they kind of want to go to the store. So I'm putting out this video for everybody to learn how you can keep yourself protected by going into the store during this time. Okay, it is March 30th, 2020, and I'm so excited to be bringing this to you guys. So, so the first thing I do, and I'm not even gonna be going into like daily health habits that I do to keep myself elevated. I'm going to be talking about today just what to do before you go out into public into crowded public spaces. Now guys, remember, I actually do this, I have done this protocol before going into public spaces like parties, restaurants, um, concerts. I would do this protocol anyway, but now that there's such a health pandemic going on with this virus, it's even more important to do it. So I wanna get this information out to you guys and I'm like double dosing on it because if I need to go out, that's what I'm doing. Um, I haven't been out for like two weeks because I figured out how to order pretty much everything online except for frozen foods, which I think, I feel like some people can live without and you can totally stock up on them. Not go to the store very often, right? Okay, so first things first, um, my husband will wear a mask when he goes to the store, but here's the thing, I wouldn't because I have heard that uh, the mask will only protect others if you're the one who's sick. So sick people should not be going out at all, but if they absolutely must and they don't have any support from anybody else, then they absolutely need to wear a mask to protect the rest of society, okay? So um, here's what I do when I go to the store. I will keep my sunglasses on. I'm totally okay shopping in the dark. I'm good to go, I know what I need to get. Um, you know, if, if I need to go, um, if you wear regular glasses, you can just, you know, wear those. These are my daytime blue blockers. Okay. okay. Um, if you have prescription glasses, wear those. Here are my nighttime blue blockers. Okay. So another thing that I do that's really important is to cover my ears. So it's really important to cover your ears because this is a mucous membrane inside and viruses can lodge in there and get into your body through the ears, through the eyes, through the mouth and through the nose, as well as through the skin on your fingers if you have broken skin. Okay, so what I'll do is, if you have one of these, well, what I do actually is I like to wear one of these cute little things like that, just to cover my ears. Like it's super cute, right? But if you don't have one of these cute little things, my friend sells these, they're super cute. You can actually just use a beanie to cover your ears. And if you don't wanna to have to uh, wash your hair when you get home, you can put your hair up in the beanie. Just like stick all your hair up in there. 
Okay, another thing you can do is if you have one of these, I know a lot of skiers use these, or like hikers, backpackers. So these are super versatile. You can cover your ears like that. Um, these are just like super versatile because you could use them like that, and then you can like cover your whole head with them. <laughs> Oof, this is getting messy. But um, anyway, you get the point. So cover your ears. Cover your ears with something, anything. And if you don't want to have to wash your hair when you get home, put your hair up in a bun and just cover that, okay? Because that's the uh, last thing I'll do um, if I'm out in public in a really crowded space, you know, traveling by plane, any other public spaces, basically like gyms, bars, restaurants, concerts, grocery stores, other stores, anything, um, I would like take a shower and wash my hair. Um, not so much before the pandemic, but after, definitely. Okay, and like I said, I'm getting everything online anyway, so I'm trying to avoid the store, but I know a lot of you guys can't do that, so it's really important. It's really important to, to do those three things, eyes, ears, and what did I say? Not the mouth. Um, yeah, eyes, ears. Well, if you do do a mask, do that if you're sick, but if you're not, like I said, it's not going to really help you. Okay, so, but the thing that's really important that I do do to protect myself internally, and um, actually, I don't know if you guys know this, but the virus will actually, all viruses do this, not just this particular virus, COVID-19. All viruses do this. They actually live inside your mucous membranes, in your nose, in your mouth, in your throat for several days before they take root and make you feel the symptoms that you feel when you get sick. Okay, so what's really important to do, first of all, internally, when you go into public spaces, is to take your On Guard soft gels. Okay, so these are really easy to take. They're already put together for you by doTERRA. They have Melissa oil in them, which is our most antiviral oil, and the On Guard Essential Oil Blend, which is gonna boost your immune system. It's gonna kill any pathogens that try to invade your body. So during this time, I'm taking two a day. Normally, I would just take one a day through the entire flu season. Uh, I would give myself two to three days break every 10 days, okay? Because you don't want it to be too much for your liver. So that's for a healthy person. If you're on medication, definitely check first with your doctor. But I'm going to be going through a lot of On Guard line products with you guys right now. Okay, so another thing that is really important to do is to use your roller ball. This is already created. It's so easy. It's basically the On Guard essential oil blend. And it's basically, you know, diluted with fractionated coconut oil. So this is safe to use topically for all ages. And what you do with this is you roll it on the bottoms of your feet. Then you put your socks on. You roll it on the back of your spine. Up and down your spine is where viruses like to live dormant for years, sometimes decades or longer. I personally do this just every day, um, especially through the flu season and multiple times a day through this health scare. So you wanna rub that in, you can do this for yourself, you can do this for your kids. I don't recommend you bring the kids into the store at this time. Okay, so back of the spine, bottoms of the feet for this On Guard Roller Ball. If you don't have the Roller Ball, you can just use the On Guard Oil Blend. So if you have the Oil Blend, you can create your own Roller Balls, there's a safety dilution chart um, somewhere online. I'm sure if you need it, reach out to me and I'll send it to you. You can create your own roller balls with your own carrier oil. I recommend fractionated coconut oil because it doesn't smell like anything and it won't detract from the On Guard blend. Okay, so another thing that's really important for me to do before I go into public spaces is okay so this is like okay so first of all i will also carry this on guard sanitizing mist with me and oh the third thing i totally forgot to tell you guys is gloves this was the third thing that i wanted to tell you so these are just some non-latex gloves that i picked up at costco probably a few years ago 
and I actually use them to clean the house and to wash dishes. Um, and sometimes even to prepare food, like if my hands are getting wet a lot because I want to save my manicure. Okay, but you guys can use any gloves. Um, I like to use disposable gloves because after the shopping experience, you can just toss them before you start driving. Um, but you can use any gloves and then just wash them, launder them afterwards. Okay, so I feel like that's really important right now during this help scare to have gloves when you're shopping. I also have this with me because, okay, so these are the three things I do <clears throat> in my car right before I get out to go into the store. So I will take one of these On Guard beadlets. This one has about uh, roughly half a drop of the On Guard essential oil blend in a beadlet, easily packaged in an ingestible, toxin-free encasing. So you guys know we source our uh, carrageenan at doTERRA uh, differently than other carrageenan, which you may have heard that carrageenan is toxic, but I am like a total purist when it comes to products and foods. So, and I give this to myself and to my kids and you can totally swallow it. So I do one to two in the mouth like that. This is in the car right before I go into the store. Okay, then I will take one of these On Guard throat drops, okay? And I will just put that right in my mouth. Mm. Right before I go into the store. Okay, so now I'm out of my car. I'm walking to the store. I've got my gloves on. I've got my ears protected. I don't usually put my hair up because I will just shower when I get home. Um, and I've got my sunglasses on. Okay, so as I'm heading into the store, okay, I'm probably like right as I'm entering with my shopping cart, I'm going like this. I'm spraying my aura guys with this on guard sanitizing mist. I mean, I see people everywhere wearing masks, but people are still coughing, right? And some people aren't wearing masks. So there's like pathogens, viruses, bacteria always around us. Right now it's even more heightened and they're just floating around in the air. Mm. I'm gonna take this out and just wrap it up for now because it's like kind of getting in the way of my talking to you guys. But if these are too strong for you, you can always do this too. You can wrap it up and reuse it two to three times. Okay, so um, what I do is I use this. This has my son's name on it right now because it came from his emergency kit at school. But um, what I'll do is I'll just go like this, like as I'm entering the store. I'll spray my aura with this On Guard sanitizing mist. And as I shop and get things off the shelf, I will periodically pull this out of my purse or out of my pocket and I will just spray my aura as I walk through the store. And I really don't care what anybody thinks because I know that I'm protected. I know that I'm safe. I'm not super anxious or paranoid about it. But if you are, there are oils that can definitely help you with that. So you can use your serenity, you can use your tree oils like cedar wood and Siberian fir. You can use the adaptive blend if you're super duper anxious about even going into a store. Any of these oils you can diffuse right off your hands in the car before you leave the car and put them over your heart, just like that. So any of the tree oils, you can even use frankincense. So um, that's just a quick little tutorial, you guys, of what I personally do if I absolutely have to go to the store during this time. Um, I will not use like the ear protect, I probably won't protect the ears because I have my hair, or I won't bathe and shower, you know, unless there's like a health pandemic afterwards. But in this case, in this time, I would definitely recommend bathing after going into a store as well. So that's it, you guys. I hope it helps, and I will talk to you later. Mwah! Love you all. Bye.